สวัสดีครับ Hello and welcome to Daily Wisdom, Walking the Path with the Buddha. Today we're going to be discussing the third noble truth. This is where you're going to learn how to eliminate discontentedness from the mind on the path to enlightenment. Welcome. The third noble truth helps us to understand that we can eliminate discontentedness from the mind. Discontent feelings is not permanent. It's possible to eliminate these. From the mind, the third noble truth is the elimination of discontentedness is possible by eliminating cravings, desires, attachments. If you remember back to the second noble truth, we discussed that the cause of discontentedness is craving, desire, attachment. This is the mental longing for something with a strong eagerness. This is the way that the unenlightened mind chases after the objects of its affection. Through chasing after the objects of your affection, the mind is then shaken up. It becomes discontent with pleasant feelings, painful feelings, and feelings that are neither painful nor pleasant. By training the mind to eliminate the craving, desire, attachment, that mental longing with a strong eagerness, chasing after the objects of your affection, then you can eliminate these conditioned feelings. The generalized training that we use. In order to train the mind to eliminate craving, desire, attachment, is breathing mindfulness meditation and the practice of generosity. Both of these together are gradually working to eliminate craving, desire, attachment from the mind. In breathing mindfulness meditation, the way that the Buddha taught it, as you focus on the breath and the mind moves off the breath, you cut that off and let it go and come back to the breath. Here, you're not training to actually eliminate the thoughts. What you're doing is you're arising mindfulness or awareness of mind. You're developing concentration or singleness of mind, a focus on the breath as a single object. And then, when the mind moves off of that, you're training the mind to easily let go of whatever that thought or idea is, without judging it, labeling it, observing it, analyzing it, or anything like that. Just cutting it off and letting it go, and coming back to the breath. This trains the mind to easily be able to let go, let go, let go, because if you remember the second noble truth, the cause of discontentedness is where the mind is holding on, it's grasping, it's yearning, it's longing. Therefore, with breathing mindfulness meditation over a consistent long-term period of time, you're gradually training the mind to let go, so that it no longer holds on to things. Chasing after the objects of its affection for pleasant feelings, and then when it gets those, it experiences those conditioned pleasant feelings, but they're unsatisfactory because they're only temporary. And then when the mind doesn't get the objects of its affection, it moves to these painful feelings, this anger, sadness, frustration, and other discontent feelings. So with breathing mindfulness meditation employed over a consistent long-term period of time. Two to three sessions per day of 30 minutes or more, gradually building up to that, a practitioner can train their mind to eliminate craving, desire, attachment. But in addition to that, you need to practice generosity. Generosity is the freely giving and sharing of more time, effort, energy, and resources than are strictly needed in any particular situation. The generosity that you share should be without any expectations of anything in return, and this can be practiced a number of different ways. In Chapter 10 of the book "Developing a Life Practice: The Path That Leads to Enlightenment," I share some details there about the practice of generosity, as well as in Chapter 14. You'll see in both of those chapters there's some details about the practice of generosity. So these two things combine. Breathing mindfulness meditation and generosity are gradually working to eliminate craving, desire, attachment from the mind. But in order to completely eliminate discontentedness, you would need to learn other teachings. This is where the fourth noble truth comes in. So in our next video, I will help you to understand the fourth noble truth, helping you to understand how to completely eliminate all discontentedness. Until then, we'll see you next time. Have a very lovely rest of your day. สวัสดีครับ